Alright, so some of you guys might know that I am actually building an RC plane now, and this is my first ever RC plane, so, you know, I hopefully this goes well. So I finally gathered most of the electronics that I need, including this 8x6 propeller along with the motor, as well as four servos. I only really need two servos because I only have them. Um, it's a really simple build I found online. It only has elevators and a rudder, so it only needs two servos. But I do have two extras in case I want to add, you know, elevate um, ailerons, sorry, or any other mechanism that would require a servo. I do also have this one backup motor, and this is because I actually don't know the specs on the motor that is currently attached to the propeller, right? But I do know the specs on this one. It's a 28 amp motor, and I know for a fact that this would work really well with the propeller, the 8x6. Um, this is the A2212 2200KV model. If anyone's interested, you can find it on Amazon, and you can see the full list of specs there. For the controller, I have a Futaba 10J 10 channel transmitter and receiver, and yeah, this radio set is actually really nice. And I, my science teacher actually bought this for me, and yeah, I'm really glad I have this because since I do plan on being the RC hobby for quite a while, you know, in future projects like this, this is probably good enough for anything I will ever do. Um, but for, it's kind of overkill for this project. I mean, it's only a three channel plane, but. Since I do plan on making it 4 channel by adding ailerons and maybe more mechanisms, I, this could come in like really handy. So the first thing I started doing was drawing blueprints or like a list of all the parts needed to build this plane and I did this by using a YouTube video. Um, I realized halfway through that my propeller and motor were actually different from his, but since this is my first ever build, I decided to stick with his dimensions. Um, tweak a little bit, but mainly the same dimensions for everything and see if it all works out And if it doesn't I can always trim it make it smaller later So I started cutting out all the pieces needed and I used Depron sheets um, of six millimeter like thickness and uh, I got this at school, so um, I have heard like many great things about Depron. It's really really thin, but it is like what most people use for the RC models and I found a lot, a lot of models built using 6mm Depron so I feel like it should be fine. Now keep in mind this is my first time ever working with Depron or actually building any RC model at all. So I did screw up a bit already and I probably will screw up a lot more in the future. So you know this is, I'm kind of documenting all this into like journal videos just so you guys can hopefully learn from my mistakes and not screw up along with me. So I cut, this is the big rectangle you can see here, the black one, that is the middle wingspan. So that is like the main wing, I guess. And I did sand it because when I was cutting, it was pretty uneven. After sanding, it's a bit more even, not completely straight, but I think it'll be fine. To cut the foam, I used just a standard cutter knife that I got from Rona. And I'm doing all this in the garage so I don't get, you know, scraps of foam and other parts, you know, all around the house. To make sure that all the cuts were 90 degree angled and, you know, not um, slanted, and to make sure all the cuts were straight as well, I used just a rectangular wooden pole. So doing all this was actually surprisingly quick. I think I finished in nearly like less than an hour, and that, that was with like a lot of breaks in between and stuff. So yeah, honestly the actual cutting foam, like that part of the work is really simple and straightforward, and if you're a beginner like me, then I would advise you to just, you know, dive right into it and not be afraid of screwing up. Because even if you do screw up, honestly, Depron is like $9 a sheet. You're not really losing a lot of money, and it's really a good experience to just be hands-on with the material. And I think that in this hobby, one of the best, if not the only ways to really improve is just to keep experimenting and actually doing things yourself. Now, with all that being said, I would be happy to make like maybe a guide on this and provide you know detailed specs on everything that I've made in this video and in the future videos in this journal like just a general inclusive guide on how to make your own RC plane um, or if you guys want to of course because it, it would take a bit of work and there are a lot of guides out there but if you guys want me to make a guide on how to make your own RC plane then I'd be happy to do that just let me know in the comments down below so this is what I finished in this video um, as you can see, this is, these are all the parts uh, made of foam that I'll need to form the main body and the wings. And I guess that's it for this vid. So once again, thank you guys all for watching my first ever technology video on this channel. And hopefully you subscribe for if you enjoyed this. 
and I do actually also post pet videos on this channel, so those are the main topics, you know, that I talk about. Um, in the next video in this series, I'll probably be gluing the main chassis, the body, the, together, and I might also start attaching some of the electronics. I am still missing control horns, um, a speed controller for the motor, as well as push rods, but I will be getting those soon, so I'll definitely be able to complete this plane. And I don't want to spoil it too much, but... By the way, I am getting a new intro really, really soon, so to replace the one I'm using right now, which I mean it's decent, but it's not really as um, epic as I like it to be. So yeah, um, that's it. Bye!